Alright, so I clicked the button. We should be good. Uh, so, real quick, uh, for the listeners that are tuning in, thank you very much for being here. It's very much appreciated, and we're glad to have you. And welcome to the first pilot episode of this podcast series that's going with the film series. Um, if you don't know yet, my name's Brad Allen. I'm the creator of the Crusader's Tale film series, uh, TV show. And, um, yeah, this, this is the, the first podcast episode that you're hearing uh, that's a companion episode to the actual show. So we're really excited to have you here. Um, with me here, special guest, is my mother, Marla. Oh. <laughs> and um, more than uh, just my mother, I mean, they're amazing qualities, so let's, let's uh, hear about those and introduce yourself for us. Thank you. That's really <laughs> nice. Um, you know, yeah, I'm... Geez, kind of awkward for me to just talk about myself here for a few minutes, but um, because yeah, I'm Brad's mom, his brother, and as well brother Zach and Dad and I have been married for 35 years this year, and yeah, Congratulations. thank you. Yeah, we we're having fun, and so we, uh, you know, for myself, um, I mean, I'm a I'm a teacher. I currently am a substitute teacher. Um, I but I've taught um, I, I, I teach the early childhood kiddos and they um it's really delightful um, by my watching you know working with the kids and watching them grow you know not just academically because it's really fun when that yeah that that light goes on and they understand a concept but really just um watching them grow socially and it's just it's it's great so i really enjoyed that part you know my career and aside from that i um you know i have various hobbies um i've i've i bike bicycle we actually ride a um uh, tandem bicycle and we <laughs> geez we even take that thing off road these oh, days yeah. so it's unreal some story for that ice cream trips so, oh, well, too no we work we do some workouts workout oh, yeah. before we have the the treats yes i do love ice cream so that's a big part of me <laughs> but you earn the ice cream. absolutely so, so we do so i enjoy hiking and bicycling and <clears> when the snow is flying i like to i although i do call myself a forever beginner cross-country skier but you know i i guess i get out there um yeah. where um when i was in my 40s i i had never ran before in my life and i I got on the bandwagon with the oh, couch to 5K, <laughs> and so Yo. never thought I could do that. But I've done a few um, 5Ks, and we've got a little annual yeah, you, 5K going on with between you and Zach and I. Yeah, with, you convinced us to do it with you. Yeah, so. So, well, that's the the Shamrock Shuffle. We oh. look forward to that every March now. So anyway, I mean, I, I'm really <laughs> yeah. I was pretty proud of myself for attempting those. Um, 5k so oh well, you should be so, yeah and so I, lo I love the outdoors yeah and um i love to go on vacation so. it's a sign of an open mind yeah i mean definitely sure. that's important in life yeah definitely yeah i mean that's that's about as well of an introduction as it could get i would say that's uh <laughs> didn't mean to carry on <laughs> no you know it's all it's all so, good stuff yeah, i mean just it's enjoying life and it has so. A little Here's adventure. The, absolutely, yep. So, uh, yeah, I mean, like, that's all good stuff. And, you know, related to the series, we, we just watched the first episode here. Uh, and honestly, something I would point out here for the listener is that so much of the first episode and the whole series in general relates to kind of like the stuff that you guys teach. And there, there's that old phrase, you know, I need to know it kindergarten yeah, yeah that's for sure it kind of it, it really, reminds me of that this your series the series that you're doing kind of yeah because i mean you know the main character william and his enemy turned best friend fadi really these two men come from parts of the world and different religions and by all uh historical accounts they should be enemies and yet they become friends and 
Yeah, they grow as men, they become better people. <clears throat> Just keeping enough of it allow that friendship to happen. That is that is really I wonder what um inspired you to, you know, make this series like <laughs> And for any yeah. other film, you know, <laughs> for that matter, because honestly, well, let's just yeah. start with that. What inspired you for particular for the Crusaders? Well, I'm, I'm going to get really in depth with it, I guess. Um, it, it started as something really, really simple. Originally, I just wanted to do a fast, like, two-minute film with, like, one friend and just tell a story about a soldier who... Um, Deserted, and just left it behind because they were traumatized by what they had seen, and then comes face to face with an enemy, and then makes peace. I wanted to tell that story, showing the other side of uh, warfare, or human element. That these are human beings that, uh, in the midst of all the, <laughs> the violence and chaos that, mm -hmm. that's happened historically and stuff, that. At the end of the day, they're really the same people. That's okay. what I wanted. Something simple. You know, I thought I was going to do a two-minute short film about ancient Sparta, something like that. something very different, a different time period. Um, so give me, give me one sec here. Uh, the computer battery is actually running low. I'm going to do real quick here. I'll pause it. I'm just going to plug that charger. I don't want this to die. That the unfortunate bad. thing with technical. Oh um, my gosh, we just <laughs> had that happen a few we minutes did, ago. We did, yeah. This is this is our second take, actually. Full no, disclosure. Technology is so great. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Well, tech is great until it's not. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Um, but you know, we got to figure it out. I mean, you just you adjust on the fly, and we've had to deal with that with camera gear. But gosh. Yeah, I guess we could go on and on about it, huh? Yeah, it can sometimes be a real hassle, but when the tech works and when yeah. things get done. You get beautiful you know, stuff. I got to tell you, that's why I'm glad that, you know, I've been teaching as long as I have, because yeah. quite honestly, um, you know, I'm an old school teacher, so if the technology isn't working, I just had a lot of tricks up my sleeve, so yeah. I just plan B, I guess. Well, like with smart boards now, oh, yeah. that was a process of learning that. Well, that is, and I'm, it's, I'm, yeah, go right ahead, so, and you were saying. Yes, thank you. Um, mm -hmm. So I thought I was going to do a film about ancient Sparta which some listeners will know what I'm talking about, others maybe not, but, um, you know, ancient Greece, soldiers, shields, spears, super violent, <laughs> you know, okay. um, stuff like that. And, you know, like the movie 300 that came out, did, you know, there's definitely fans of that. So, you know, I thought it was going to be different. I, I wasn't doing a film about the Crusades. I wasn't doing a religious, wow. you know, there was none of that. It just evolved. Um, you know, the more I started writing, the more I thought, ah, this doesn't quite capture what I'm trying to do. This isn't it. I throw it out and just rewrite. You know, okay. I just kept going through it. And so Can I interrupt you for a minute and yeah, ask yeah, you yeah. how many times did you throw out and go back to it? Six, I don't know. Wow, yeah, makes sense, you know. Yeah, I, I just couldn't settle Outline, on what... Outline, draft, rewrite, rewrite. And... Yeah, and that's the first time that's ever happened in a movie. Really? Like... Just, ah, oh, just, I can't, like, having to redo it that many times. Never happened. Projects that I've done, because... Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, usually it was, like, the idea was pretty concrete going in. Either come up with a friend idea or something that was already just kind of made sense. Yeah, it, it took a while to settle on it. Just me by myself, behind the scenes, just, you know, just dreaming up stories. And I finally settled on it. You know, I just mm -hmm. was playing video games and uh, reading up on historical books and stuff like that and just came across certain details in historical encyclopedias of the world. Okay. Like about, Quite a bit of research that goes Oh, this, yeah. Of course. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I just, yeah, you know, I was just reading stuff and <clears throat> you know, one of the games I was playing, I guess, just inspired the thought of, well, what if something being like the early Middle Ages. And then that was like, well, there's a lot of religious wars. It'd be interesting to tell. It's a big thing. Yeah, it just, it, the story just took a life of its own. Well, I mean, so. this is far from a light 
subject, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, that's why I was like, yeah. and, you know, as I, you know, hear yeah. bits and pieces of what you're thinking as you're mm -hmm. some of your thought process, yeah. I'm just, I'm just, hey, I guess. Should, yeah, well, yeah, but I mean, it's. It's just, it's like, it's just, it's a life. Don't, it's still evil. As mm -hmm. I've dreamed about sequels, because there are going to be sequels. And no, the whole thing is planned. Uh, it, the story is writing itself at this point. Like mm -hmm. The characters, now they're telling me what's yeah. going to happen. Like, sounds a little crazy. The but, characters are? The, or the, I'm sorry, the, the act. No, like the characters, yeah. Okay. Like on the page. On like, the page. Or like... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's something we learned in yeah. novels and stuff. Is write a decent enough character. And then you just stay true to who they are. See what happens. Like, at that point, you're just a viewer. Sure. <laughs> and there's some of that. Uh -huh. William's decision to stay his blade and befriend an enemy, and how much he loves his family and wants to come home to them, and yet also feels hence pull to be a better person and do the right thing. Knowing that's who he is as a character to the core makes it easy figure out what he would do in certain situations because all I have to ask myself is well what would he want to ask? not mm -hmm. what would Brad want to ask? Okay. Because my mom... you know it really I <clears throat> watch it and you know when I read the script before you even filmed it and mm -hmm. all that really acceptance one another that's what I really get out of it and it just I, I love it. Appreciate. Yeah, I mean, especially, you know, it can be tough and it can be hard, but um, we certainly need to be accepting. Just, yeah. yeah. Well, it's, it's an important subject. and Yeah. Sometimes there's not enough of that. Right, no. right, exactly. And I just. Leaf, I. Yeah, I think I think it shows through the series because I've been saying this for months, but mm -hmm. um, you know, you and you, you and Dad, uh, you know, <laughs> said, "Ah, oh, we we didn't do anything. We're supervising. Uh, we just uh, read the script." Well, <laughs> you know, you did so much. More. It's just funny, it's... you know, because I do feel that way because I'm like, well, okay, I just. Um, you know, I guess I just do what I need to every day, and I just, and I'm yeah. always there for my family, and, Appreciate that. you know, well, yeah, but I mean, just, I, of course, but so, but yeah, it's, I guess, yeah, it, we didn't, we're, we're glad you feel that way, so the, yeah. the thank you is in well, return, so anyway. Oh, true, I mean, so. it's like, uh, you helped shed some clarity on certain story points, in a sense, or. Costumes? I mean, there's so much to say about that. Storage space. You know, it's a huge thing. Uh, washing fake blood out of a costume. It's, kind of a big deal. I mean, that's... I'm like any other laundry. Well, <laughs> but I know, I, I guess when I... When I... That way, you know, I had taken that to the laundromat. Well, because yeah. it had all the leaves in it and everything. And yeah. I just thought, oh, what a mess. So we took it over there. But I was... That was funny because... Yeah. I was more thinking, geez, what are the people around here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are they about thinking, you know? Yeah. And then I turned around, like, oh my gosh, there's a bunch of, like, I had to go back to the house and get a broom because. <laughs> you feel like you have was, to explain yeah. it too. Like, yeah. Suddenly well, you could work at the laundry mat. They should pay you. <laughs> but, you know, it's like we're working hand in hand on it, right? Like, sure, I throw you a few bucks to help out with the. As a matter of. You know, help cover, like, the laundry mat. Mm -hmm. you know, especially since sometimes. Busy work day or something. Often I didn't. Or sure. Sometimes vice versa, things would come up. Um, yeah, but, but that that's my whole point is it's because I'm just start to finish just had a hand in it. Even if and it's uh, you know, it's sometimes just that invisible uh, push, I guess. It that's what produces that, it. Um, <laughs> that's in my mind, just, you know, 
yeah. and care, moving it forward, I guess, paying it forward and, well, it's, and being there uh, to, help each, and to help, you know, your, this case you or, you know, but yeah. Um, it reminds me, you talk about the costumes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, when that, when you got that, um, <clears throat> What is it? The chains that go with the, yeah, with the your costume, and so that the arrive chain mill armor. the chainmail <laughs> armor. So it arrives, yeah. get it in here, and I have no idea. So you're talking about this stuff, and then you unwrap this box in the living room, and it's, and you're going, oh, it's oily, and like, look, I'm like, whoa, hey, I'm about <laughs> to get this out of here, and I'm, oh my gosh, yeah. so not so close to the furniture kind of thing so i don't know what was, was that was it was it quickly um taken downstairs to the oh yeah shuffling it to the to the basement yeah. <laughs> it's where you yeah. what'd you do you dad and i and basically just took turns um uh with our arms like shoulder deep in this dirty water <clears throat> rinsing off the oil because you know, we had to clean it because they package it a certain way so it doesn't rust. But if you have all that oil in pieces, so like we had to clean it. Right. So did you expect that to come like that or did you not even? I mean, it makes sense you know, I... because it was, you know, made true to what you, to the time yeah. that you, you know. I had no idea. I've never really Sims before. So the yeah, I mean that was that was the first. Because the first film you did, you you actually yeah, we did, did more second chance. We did costumes. But d didn't you do more shopping lo yeah. locally or something? Army Navy you order, store. Yeah, so that was different. You kind of saw it first. Yeah, so this, this was, was definitely different because of I have yeah more protective gear and stuff. Yeah, know? like armor because like that's what they would literally wear. And like these are functional pieces. Like, mm -hmm. You know, like it, it sounds crazy, but like chainmail that I was. Um, yeah, we got poked a couple times with the sword. Stopped it. Oh, well, not I'm sharp swords, right? Dull, yeah. dull right. blades. No, I know. No, I know. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, it's, but it, but it is actually protective gear. Right. You know, and like when you're swinging it around, well, if something catches you on the side, uh, you're, at the worst, you get a bruise. Sure, sure. It's, it's armor. I mean, it's, it's, everything's there and. Yeah, yeah it, was, but, it was crazy. Like just, just so, that process so, and, of cleaning. Well, it. and then remember, you were. Um, I don't know if the listeners care this much, but it's like then. Do you I remember? So. Oh, yeah. Do you remember then? Uh, after filming, and and it got too hot or something, and then it oh. did it rust, and then <laughs> and then that was a whole nother situation. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you won't tell me yeah. about that. That was kind of I was funny, not not funny at oh. the time. However, well, I but. was dumb. I um. I forgot the armor in the trunk of my car, and because I was tired after filming, I wasn't thinking about. It. I just wanted to get on video games or something. Um, well, I think when people see the film, they'll understand why well, you might have been tired after. Oh yeah, filming in the ninety degree heat oh, and, and all that gear. But anyway. Yeah, no, it was crazy. But like, um, uh, the armor rusted is what happened. Uh -huh. I forgot it in the trunk, and it was dusty air with. Oh, you know, and we had been storing this armor degree basement. It's like good condition yeah, to keep true. it in pristine care. And then it was in a 120 degree trunk for like three days or so. Well, it crazy. does get warm in that when it's summer. Yeah, yeah, like in the middle of July. And yeah, so it rusted from. Oh, your panic when that happened. Oh, I, I was yeah, like, I was. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, replacing that. Yeah, because it was silver and then it was just brown. And I was like, oh my God, I have to buy new armor. But, like, we had spent the budget, so, like, it wasn't an option. Scrambling, trying to figure out, oh, my God, we're shooting this Saturday. Like, what do I do? I'm looking up every solution on the Internet. You know, I'm buying WD-40 to try to scrub this rust off. It's not working. Problem solving there, for sure. Oh, we, there God. was a lot of that. Yeah, like Googling, just trying to, like, find instructions, you know, looking at, official pages through the retailer that we bought through and like looking at and actors historically how mm -hmm. they maintain their armor okay. watching videos and documentaries trying to glean some wisdom nothing was working and that's when dad and one of my actor 
Devin both had the idea, well, spray? And I was like, oh, shoot, like, oh my god, that might actually work. <laughs> you know, so I hustled over to the store. That was cheaper than anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like five bucks for a can of spray paint. Got the right color that matched the armor. Sprayed the crap out of it on the back deck and, of course, gave the neighbor a show. Neighbors see me spray paint. I well, was wondering, what the heck? Like, what is going yeah. on? And I'm just going to town, shh, shh, just spraying everywhere. <laughs> so then we brought it in yeah. after, then later that evening after that dried, then we brought it into the sunroom so it was cool enough in there. So. I mean, because I, I think it was raining or something that even so yeah. get it in so it doesn't wash it like, I had to go to work and like yeah. that's another example you guys were you're just chilling at the house so it's like not like it's a big deal but like just pulling it out of the deck into the sunroom you know it saves me a trip or you know it might have saved the armor from more destruction so well we don't want you didn't want it to wash off yeah, I mean, you know, that like that was really appreciated. So, no, yeah, it you're was welcome. just crazy how that all happened. So, I guess and, what I hear you say is that this is kind of a family affair, huh? Well, it At is. At times, yeah. yeah. Oh, it is. I mean, it's a family effort. I mean, that's a, such a big part of the story, too, is that it's like almost every decision he makes, his family is in his brain. Is it? Mm -hmm. um, so, the fact that it is a family affair. I think there's some correlation. Mm -hmm. Sense. So much to be said about it. <laughs> like it just it yeah. was crazy how that all worked out and I mean I always love giving the neighbors a panic. I don't know. I guess I didn't notice. I mean we're just you know, we got they're, they're good people. <laughs> you know, they're just yeah, you know, it looks weird. It, I you suppose know? it does. Yeah, yeah. any neighbor would be sussed out. They'd, uh, be, they'd think it's weird. I don't know it's if they thought that, is. but yeah, I don't know. You know, another thing is it's um going way back. I'm thinking, I just would have never imagined this with you. Okay, I'm, I'm uh -huh. still I'm still processing all this as your mom, like sure. where you're at sure. with making films and where I mean. Okay, now yeah. and then this the podcast here is new so i'm like <laughs> yeah. so it's just it's really evolving but i mean i guess as a young lad you i mean your dad always said you were a storyteller and embellished yeah. and whatever and i mean I do. but i mean it's good you know <laughs> because it's what's it it's look where it's leading you but i mean yeah. i remember when you were really little we even signed you up for like acting lessons but mm -hmm. there was like no interest and in, you know you were really a shy kid so where i see you now like but you always did love writing stories so that was i mean that was your that was the thing that i just i would have never believed it but i do um i do remember different good payments that you had in, i think it was in <laughs> middle school and you yeah, you guys yeah. you and your brother enjoyed um um Doing, you always took the assignment where you had to do a videotape of something, and I, just yeah. you and your friends in the basement. And you, mm -hmm. <laughs> it was really humorous, but yeah, for history class. That's what it was. So, see, and you of course always have um, loved history, and so. yeah. well, it's like the video reenactments of historical. That's what we're. You know, of course, you're using pool sticks and pretending it's a musket, saying that you're in the ocean. It, it's really corny and fun. But I mean. You know, Fun with it. I just, I just, but I, you know, I suppose that I, I just, it, yeah, it's such a processing thing for me as, as oh, I, I guess, as your mom that I, mm -hmm. um, like, wow. I mean, I know everything we do yeah. builds on the next thing, so yeah. it's just probably what's happening. Oh, I get it. It's for me, it's all unfolding and yeah. it's. <laughs> Well, and it's like you said, I mean, you signed me up for an acting class and time being seven years old. Yeah, you didn't care for it. Oh, I, I was just shy. You were shy. I was shy. I, stage fright. I couldn't get in front of a crowd without crying. So shy. You know, I was the kid that was picked on in preschool. Shy. Oh, Which you. then made me more shy. You know, it's, it's like a snowball effect. 
you know, I was very friendly with other kids. I made friends easily, very social, just very mid. You Nobody know. wants to just be out there. But anyway, how would... I mean, some people... I mean, I do now at this point yeah, in my I life. It's been a growing process of 27, I mean, I'm 28 years. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, you know, it's crazy. I think about it myself, too. You know, I, um, you know the, the childhood version of myself would... Um, would be very happy to know where things are at. He, he would be very happy. He made some of these dreams happen. This is stuff I always wanted to do. I either didn't the stick or scared, too shy. Um, even when I went to college, very shy. Uh, you know, kind of had ideas of what I was. I was kind of picking safe options. You know, I. I had dreams of doing storytelling in some capacity. And mm -hmm. In some ways, I put it on hold. In my brain, it was like, well, that's not realistic. How am I going to make money or to live and eat? Uh, starving. Almost. But you know what? You've got to take those chances. Hey, I think we learned that, too. Shoot. So if We can do it without some things initially yeah. until... I think doing something that you really love yeah. is important, you know? And also that, like, if, if you're doing what you love, it doesn't mean you suffer either. It's like you can still like, balance it. Right. And I do that. Right, I know you. 18, it's impossible. Everything's so fresh. Oh, well, right. And, but then well, you get into it. It and... can be scary, you know? But, I mean, that's... It was. Chances. We... Yeah. I mean... Got me off at school. I'm sure you probably remember that day. This town dropped off at college. <laughs> I guess this is it. Like, <laughs> I think I asked to come home, and I think you had to say yeah, no. Yeah, you know, it's well, <laughs> you're always that. No, I don't want anybody thinking that. that you know, to say no, way. but no, I mean, just, you know, you have to, you have to stay with something. Yeah. You have to stay with something. That's how you, um, well, I know, dad always said, you know, it's find out what we don't like as mm -hmm. much as what we do so 100 percent yeah so true statement I went through that when i went to see if my it's 22 off oh, of your journalism yeah classes yeah. yeah you know i loved it and i loved the front aid and stuff but some of it was homesickness where two weeks in it's like i should be having the time of all i could think about like well you know i had to find a way to get the enjoyment out of it. Right. I had to, I had that fear. And when yeah. I did, it was blissful. Oh, it was absolutely. <laughs> you I'm glad you're able to do it, yeah. So, and you know, and some people, yeah. you know, yeah, that... Some people never. Right. I was, never get it. I was thinking that, yeah. I mean, it's a slow burn, and it took... But I am here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and it's... Hey, you know, and that's, that's one thing I... I think I said something to you once about how, um, not just at the premiere event. In general, I want little boys and little girls who watch this series, because mm -hmm. it, it is for family. It's mm -hmm. not too brutal or anything. It's families can watch it. Right. I want those little kids, and when I say little, I'm talking. Yeah, yeah, right. The little, elementary like, age. I mean, I work with that age as me. well. I, I say that I work with early yeah. childhood, but I also... You know, I do work with the elementary age as well. And yeah. It's, yeah, it's very... Go ahead. I, I just want them to feel inspired. You know, I want them right. to see this. And, hey, this is possible. I could do this too. You know, or put themselves in the clues or maybe learn something. Or maybe they just think it's cool and they just enjoy the experience as entertainment. Mm -hmm. And that's also good. Kind of like poor memories. I think so. young student, young child, Excuse seeing me. someone your age um, making dreams come true like that, and just that it's not unreachable, yeah. is an excellent, yeah, excellent thing for here and anyone. Yeah, because it's you're never too old. It's <laughs> true. You're I mean. never too old. Just every day is new chance. I mean, you can always reinvent your. I think that's um, 
yeah, I mean, it's this is such a beautiful thing in life. Have the opportunity every single point in your life. Like some people figure out their life's mission when they're seventy-seven. Yeah, um, there's nothing wrong with that. It's, you know, I, I've gone through it myself. I that's where it doesn't happen. Work and dust. You know, I had to get myself back onto a uh, train of thought. Right. It can be very easy to um to, trying to say here. Um you yeah, feel you just, lost? Yeah, I mean Yeah, you just don't have to you have to have that growth mindset. Yeah. That's what I'm getting at. It's just um mm. your day is what you make of it. Yeah, well, your day is what you make of it. It's up to you. So. True words are not spoken. <laughs> so it's just yeah. try to be positive. Yeah. And be there for others. But and that's a good motto. Yeah, I mean, so much of that plays into the series. All, right. all the lessons over the years. I mean, it finds its way into the process. You know, the character that I necessarily know it wasn't necessarily the plan. it just kind of worked as, as i was chatting with some actors and stuff and talking about what was going to happen with I, I i i don't know i guess i just felt so connected it was like wow i actually tackle this role easy to one thing and they were all like actually i think you should and have you yeah, really qualified. fallen into the comfort of it all hey i mean yeah i feel pretty in step with it oh uh, i mean you know we just we have similar i guess okay. So, so okay some of it is acting some of it is not acting some of it's just uh yeah so I, I feel... that's great yeah 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 I mean, there's so much of a story left to tell. It's, it's just going to keep crazier and better. Yeah. No, you have yeah. many things and beyond even this um, I'm just series, ready, yeah. too. Yeah, so. I mean, it, uh, it's all good stuff, though. It's all good. Different games that I've played online with friends have had an influence, too. Okay. Some war games and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, just these guys are all history buffs, too playing a game or something let's come up with a conversation mm -hmm. they're very excited to see the series uh, so you know they're by the time this podcast comes out they'll have already watched the first okay. episode and i'm pretty sure that by this point and viewers are listening to the podcast there's probably gonna be a couple texts on my phone or something like that, that was cool like awesome that they pretty sure that they will they'll like the sword fights Jazzed about that. Excellent. Soundtrack too. I cannot state how good the soundtrack is, so listen to that. Yeah. Um, we uh and one thing we could talk about What's that? <laughs> is Europe. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was a fun trip. We just yeah, chance, we call it the trip of a lifetime. I mean, I don't know. We just thought, oh, you get you and Zach aren't married yet, and hey, look, how about the four of us take yeah. a trip? You know, something yeah. really memorable. Yeah. So we did, and I, it, boy, that was a huge undertaking. So much fun. Um, it was a lot of fun, but I mean, <laughs> just um, and I recognize the um, grateful beyond that we were able to be able to do mm -hmm. that. I mean, just even just figuring out four people's um, work schedule was self. <laughs> that was the hardest part. <laughs> and then learned a little bit of German and yeah, we and did. <laughs> tried to anyway. So yeah, we so much. Like, oh my gosh, it uh, the the few months leading up to it of learning German was fun. You know, we'd have contests over family text chat and stuff where we. Um, you know, we'd tease each other, like, you know, how far are you on class, Zach? Oh, or, that was fun, yeah. You know, that was, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, um, it was actually really fun learning another language. 
Yeah, well, I just bringing up my notes about Europe because I thought, you know, oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I know before we left, yeah. Grammy had um, said, oh, are you going to make a journal? Yeah. And I didn't really Excuse think, me. didn't really think so, you know. Oh, no, I'm not going to worry about it. I just like to take it all in. And so, <clears throat> yeah. but then I had to write some stuff down because there was, yeah. I mean, well, just a synopsis maybe about when we talk about going to yeah. Europe, it's not like we just ended up in Germany. We, I guess the way we vacation mm -hmm. is as long as we're over there, we don't, we don't know when this is going to happen again. So, or if, yeah. right. So it's like, let's see everything. So oh, it we almost seemed like we did. So we, we were from country to country there. Yeah, we were. <laughs> we're that adventurous family. Hey, so, I mean, yeah, I, I would say that we were. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's just there's so much that we saw, like, and, and a lot of stuff that we saw too. Castles, mm -hmm. um, historical cities, and things. The ones I still can't pronounce. So how <laughs> right. do you say it again? <laughs> Newer, um. Newer. Now See, I would have said it wrong. Here it is. I have it in my log. Oh, I'm just trying to get the pronunciation. Oh, that's okay. Nashvinstein and Hunschfango. Okay. No, it's Hohenschwango. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, There's no quizzes, right? <laughs> right, no more, but like some of those castles that we saw helped influence my understanding and period, which helps Relating with Relating back, okay, yeah. Yeah, it's just a better ground. You know, because when you see it in person, it's different than reading it. Annika, media, mm -hmm. history sites and stuff like that. And yeah, and really, it, it's, uh, it was just, um, we wanted this trip just as a family, yeah, because perfect time. But, mm -hmm. um, yeah, the all the castles and ruins were really neat, and I'm sure that does help your writing. It does and particularly for this, I would say so. Yeah, I mean, based on where the story is heading, future, not so much the season even, but in the future past this, as, as we keep it going, mm -hmm. there's going to be a lot of assistance to that, to that regard, okay. for sure. And yeah. It, one thing I know that was pretty uh, memorable and surreal was the fact, you know, right there on the wall is a painting of Auschwitzstein. Right. And we actually have pictures of it, too, so it's little did we know when <laughs> when I was doing that painting that actually be there yeah because didn't you paint that when you were like in 10th grade or something i was a freshman in high school oh, freshman, okay. and it was part of an art unit where they wanted us to just paint anything they they it was an open floor the intention that it was going to be a gift to somebody I said give it to someone okay <laughs> um made the most sense to give it to the family parents but uh, i couldn't figure out what i wanted to paint so just you know, just looking around um, online, basically like computer screensavers or landscapes, mm -hmm. beautiful scenery, right? And saw I love that. First, yeah. yeah, I mean, I saw that with the blue roofing and the red stuff. I knew that was it, like with the forest right. and the mountains. Well, and it's so funny because when so, we put our actual photographs of that castle next to your painting, it it's it's it's, it's um it's uh a replica <laughs> you know there's not a lot of difference so you really did get it right yes. so it is amazing though that you painted it i don't know i <laughs> yeah well it was just interesting oh yeah um i, mean, I know, you know that go ahead well, I, I was just i mean we're sitting there um overlooking the castle and then we oh. see paragliders I know, right? It's crazy. It it really was. Um yeah. saying. Uh, well, that, that was neat. And then I'm I'm just looking at my notes here because like yeah. I said I could never but the waterfalls. Oh, gosh, yeah. The waterfalls. Yeah. Um Uncle Dan and Monica always they refer to Dad and I as well, we love waterfalls, so they call us chase waterfall chasers. Yeah, or something. Yep. We certainly were doing it that week, weren't we? But we were. I mean, we saw oh. a bunch. 
some weren't even on the trip's itinerary. No. Kind of ended up certain places. Yeah, we Um, did. We just... Well, again, I, when you get that far yeah. away from home, you know, you just, you yeah. better take it all in than that. Have to. So, I know we all really enjoyed that, um, that island where it was like. I know island. Did it have a, like a farm on it or something and gardens and then. Yeah. Like that, what yeah. was that one called? May now. Oh, or, you sorry. got it. I now island on uh, Lake Constance. Yeah, and then um, there was that um, butterfly exhibit mm-hmm. there too. Yeah, the butterflies, there were goats and little camels and stuff like that. They, they had a petting zoo for kids and the garden that beaches and stuff, even. And of course, the I- ice cream parlor. Well, of course. Yeah, we had to have some of that. Yeah. They, again, love ice cream. So, um, I was. It was I, the traditional, like, as we know it here in America, like, having rot worse in the summer, but there in, in Germany, you, you get, a, you know, the rot worse, and then it comes with a side, like, what, pretzel that's, uh, like, a big breaded pretzel, like, we, it's, just, it's just really different how it's served and yeah. authentic, yeah. And what was your dessert that you loved it? Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> oh man, just even thinking about it. Oh my lord. It was a light, airy it's, kind of Oh yeah. Excuse me to the viewers. I'm just freaking out over <laughs> <It was> so <laughs> good. Oh Glemschnet. I was always a cheesecake fan. Yeah. And we were at this fancy dinner. We did go out that of... night, didn't we? Yeah, we were all <laughs> Sorry, I'll, I'll get it together here. It's, yeah, um, yeah, that airy dessert, as I said, it strawberries, cream cheese, with light. Cream. Yeah, it was a good crackers. one. Low calorie, super tasty. When we told ourselves it was low calorie, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> don't know well, when you have five of them, is it really low calorie? Like, <laughs> I don't know that yet. Five. I well, we got second, and I think we were discussing thirds. But then we realized. Some of bigger than a stomach. Oh, I could have eaten it. I think we just realized we were running kind of late. Yeah. Getting back to the. It was. At that point, it was like almost. Yeah. Like well, we that were... was. It's a long day. It was a long day. But like, yeah, I mean, we were. Uh... Gosh, that I mean that I so want to bake that dessert here in the states. It's not going to do it justice, but definitely want to bake that. Those things you taste it, just never stop craving. Right. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to crave that to the day. Ah. Oh, my goodness. I, I mean, it's it's better than cheesecake. Cheesecake doesn't even come close. Okay. Like, I almost can't even eat cheesecake. Hmm. It, it's, I, I shouldn't say that because that makes me sound grateful and greedy. <laughs> no, right? it doesn't. <laughs> but, um, uh, it, it was just something you really enjoyed. So. Yeah. It's like when you get a hamburger. It's just so good that no one. That was a whole thing. And like, well, you know, there were, yeah. that was like, there was a lot of good food. Yeah. And a lot of great sights and very, um, very good memories. Uh, yeah. Um, and. and like, um, um, the churches, that's, that's, I'm mm-hmm. trying to formulate the thought, the churches that we saw. I actually want to, I, I, I told you. You're going to hear this for the first time in oh, front of boy. an audience. Okay, I, I guess. That? <laughs> um, the very first church that we went to. Um, where they had those candle lights and stuff like. Do you light a candle? In- um, I think that's kind of the purpose of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, you'd lit, lit some of those candles that had extinguished and stuff. That was a profound experience being in there. You know, true, authentic, old. Catholic Church dates way back hundreds, and um, I, I had struggled for a long time after as far as trying to uh, just come to grips with it because that, that was pretty yeah um, that's a, it's hard on everyone it really and you know there was a while where 
No, it's like you know your family. And you know that you're living your life. But I, I couldn't really accept that. It's just, it was weird. It was kind of abstract. Mm-hmm. But we're there. And, you know, we're lighting these candles, say a prayer. And um, there, there's been moments in my life where I kind of sat down and seriously. But didn't necessarily really feel like I was quite getting getting something from it uh <clears throat> maybe my whole heart was oh, I, I don't had, know if that's true Some, they say that sometimes you get an answer you know you, yeah you know, people worry because they don't get an answer I guess because I got away from going to church and kind of had to go through my own journey of questioning what faith meant to me. I, I found the answer to that it means something to me it's been nice reconnecting with Partly because of the series that I'm but also there in that church and it clicked. You know, it, it kind of felt like making peace with it. Uh, yeah, I mean, in that moment, it was pretty profound because it's like the start of this amazing trip. Something that had been so heavy just was kind of feels yeah. like, oh, this loved one able to reach down and help. That was pretty amazing. And, Lightened me up for the next several days, for sure, to, to be more than yeah. just ready for the experience. So totally. Oh, it trans. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I, I mean, was able to receive that experience in a much more profound whole trip than I otherwise, because okay. that start to the trip. Something that was unknowingly. So you know, nice. sometimes we- Think you're. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I'm glad it worked out. That. Yeah. I mean, Zach had that. same church, saying a prayer of his own. It wasn't just me. <laughs> yeah. Know? No, that's. So. Hey, faith is <clears throat> personal. You know, yeah. I've said that for you know. Hey, you know, I think we we come to terms. Well, I'm. Glad yeah, that that this is um. Let me say that uh, <laughs> I'm having a mom moment here. Well, sorry, that's really sorry, good. Triggered, no, yeah. no, it's okay. I'm, just, um, <laughs> I'm um, <clears throat> uh, you know, because with that, you know, I don't want to get too deep, but it's like I've had my own prayers over that, and just I really just Appreciate pray it. that, um, well, that you and Zach, your yeah. connection with that in your I mean, in whatever way is right for you. I feel like I have. Especially through the series, like he goes through a crisis of faith. He finds his way back through very different circumstances. Obviously, but I think that's part of so much of the character too is coming home, from just able to jump into the character because wasn't actually going to be pretending to feel at peace with something. He'd actually do it and really mean it. Well, be that character. Didn't it seem as though we were back a week when you were starting your this all? So, yeah, I started so, right away as soon I mean, as we came back. Yeah. Yeah, I right mean, I, when your brother both did dive right in, yeah. right change and everything, you both had your you uh, know, work schedule. He started a new job. I, I had, and stuff, I had like, a week in between. <laughs> right. I know, so that was crazy. But um, no, that is really yeah. everything you talk about here Appreciate really you. moving. Yeah. And I guess that's yeah. why it moves other people on. I hope it does. I mean, I, I think people will just get a kick out of the conversation. I hope so. This is all really new to me, yeah. so I'm like... Doing great. I mean, yeah. Of course, I'd be remiss if I didn't bring up the bear. The bear? Oh, okay, <laughs> well, what are we going to say about that? Um, Your brother said they were extinct. I don't know what the situation is. I don't know if they were extinct. Yeah, like, I don't know about that. There was a I big have... news story in Germany because bear spotted in the woods. And that doesn't happen often because there's not that many bears around that area, at least. And um, it, it was big news because it was like, wow, there's this animal. It's rare. It's like when a bald eagle was spotted in Wisconsin. It's big news because you don't see them that often. They're not extinct, but or I could be wrong. Maybe they are extinct. It was big news. It was front page of every newspaper in the whole country, and 
you know, I was just teasing Zach five minutes before that, oh, we're going to see a bear in the woods. Watch <laughs> out. Uh, and here's a the story. There's Piping. a bear in the woods. <laughs> well, I know because you guys came in from walking around yeah. that bed and breakfast that mm -hmm. we had stayed at. And the snail trail. The snail trail was called. And, like and then you were just snails. waiting. What Dan was checking out of the place or something. Yeah. And so then waiting. And then you saw that newspaper article. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah. it what, didn't it say something about that it had been where we were the day before mm -hmm. hiking. <laughs> we had been hiking the day yeah. before. So it's it makes us. me wonder why, because I remember we were learning German. Mm. It, it, I was like, why don't we need to know? Because it seemed like it kept repeating the word bear a lot. The, the vocabulary word yeah. that yeah. the bear is shown. You know, bear and is my, beautiful. My, and, <laughs> yeah. and now it's really yeah. kind of funny that that came full circle. I mean, we didn't encounter the bear. However, it's funny. I don't know, but I, I do remember when I was learning, you know, the language, that was one of the things, that was one of the sentences that was repeated a lot. Yeah. The bear is shown, and I'm like, the bear is beautiful. And for people listening from afar, and if you are, uh, pardon my, like, <laughs> my, my, you know, German skills or whatever, because I'm just. Well, we do but... actually have some uh, friends in one of my video game groups or servers that I'm on. There, there are some German guys. They'll be watching. They'll be listening. Definitely a few Germans on there. For sure. Okay. Well, they'll forget. I don't you. claim to. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah. They'll just so, be glad that you're trying. Oh, I tried. No, that about practicing. But no, it was. Um, so. <clears throat> No, it was I mean, a good it was trip. Amazing. It was I'm glad and very moving. Very grateful. Oh yeah. So. Well, you know, I I what I feel every day anyway. You, Absolute you gratitude. Just it just it is the material things I have. It's that just truly, you know, family and opportunities and nature and you know these places that you are able to, you know, film at, it just really yeah. adds to the movie. It was, it was, yeah, I mean, there's much to say about it. This might actually be a good chance to start working on an outro, I guess, to kind of uh, um, end the podcast here. Oh, I okay. think we're coming up on that. I'm limited, actually. Wow, I actually did it. I'm yeah, I know. <laughs> kind of a side joke here because I'm yeah. like, what? You want me to talk for this long? I don't know. <laughs> Do it all the time on holidays. It's uh, not hard. <laughs> well, I know that, but it does. Yeah. Oh, hopefully, the um, listeners have enjoyed it, and I think so. Hope so. We you so. Know, talk about a variety of things, and you know, we just roll with speak from your mind and from. From your heart, rather. Yeah. Shit. I mean, but, um, closing thoughts about the series, the film. I mean, obviously, you'll have already seen the premiere when this episode airs. Yeah, but... I haven't. I other than the little sneak peek that we did just mm -hmm. started. Um, I'm really waiting <clears throat> until your premiere. Okay. Myself, and, and I'm, okay. Sure. You know, in a few other things they've done, yeah. but all the other aside from this film, that sure. that, that other ones that you've been working on, sure. um, have I, I'm excited to for the yeah. premiere. Yeah, I'm anything stuff. expecting to happen that the that's what's most exciting aside from seeing the movie. Being relative, yeah, I would love to see family. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. And friends, and I'm just, I'm just, you know, I just want to see your work. You've, you've been talking it. about it, and yeah, and yeah, yeah. I, so the storyline, you know, I yeah. like I said, I read it, and it was, it was moving, and it is moving, and I sure hope everybody watches it, yeah, and, and gets something out of it. I think they you will. you have put your heart into it, yes. so so. I mean, we're gonna have so much fun. Yeah, and, but it's absolutely. Gonna be a night to remember. It's gonna be crazy. I mean, actual theater. So, 
it's gonna be a party. It's gonna be a big <laughs> party. I mean, they're not going into this and yeah, yeah. And, um, any other thoughts, or is that pretty much it? I'd say I have, I have you know, I, uh, short of just repeating ourselves. Sure, I think sure. yeah, maybe we get we're down to it. And just um, thanks for inviting me, yeah. and I welcome I, that your audience has enjoyed it too. So coffee was a good. Oh audience. yeah. Well, it's that time. <laughs> yeah. End of a work day, but well, okay. So we'll so we'll outro it here. Thank you. Join You're welcome. Uh, thanks to the listeners for joining us here. This is the first podcast episode obviously there's four more coming there's four more film episodes too um there's more seasons coming too so if you're feeling hungry for some more don't worry it's it's coming <laughs> you, you've got a lot like you haven't seen anything yet so uh stay tuned we got more content coming your way so watch out for that mm-hmm.